This is the Melbourne Design Awards. Firstly, Mac Neville, g'day to you. Congratulations. Hi, thank you very much. Your studio, you're the commissioner, you're the client, it's you. you you've picked up an award. Tell me about this. Okay, so we, we wanted to create a new studio space. Uh, we're running out of room in our, in our old studio. Um, so we, we located a site in Cremorne that we thought was suitable. Um, and we engaged uh, Hecker Guthrie to uh, do the fit out for us. Um, it, it was a challenging brief because we wanted to lot in it. We wanted to create a really warm and inspiring space um, that was also a great workplace and, and kind of fit the collaborative way that we, we like to work. Mm. Um, so that's how the project came about. And so you, you brought in Hector Guthrie to achieve, achieve this for you. You said it was a bit of a challenging brief. How did you make it challenging? Uh, well, we being kind of creatives ourselves, obviously, um, we, had a, we had a certain vision for the project. We wanted a, a much more residential tone, if, if you like. Mm. So we didn't want a standard uh, commercial workspace. Um, we wanted something that was quite warm and inviting um, and, you know, that people would love to be in all day. Mm. So how do you know they want to be in it all day? Obviously, it's been done now. Because can, they are in yeah, it all day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know. But when you're in the planning yeah. phase and you know yeah. you're, you've got a brief, uh, you know, the designers to, to work with you. Yes. What yes. is it that you ask for to make it to make it that? Yeah. So we, we asked to, part of the brief was to have a mix of uh, breakout spaces, lounge spaces, different types of collaborative working space, um, space to pin things up on the wall. Uh, space to relax, uh, you know, so a different kind of blend of workspace and, and breakout space and so forth. Um, some of the first versions of the design, the, the kitchen and breakout space were um, super massive, which was great, but unfortunately it left a little uh, less room for workspace. So we gradually kind of scaled things around until we got to a good, uh, a good happy point. Bringing, the, bringing Hector Guthrie along with you to, to see your vision and sort of how you both work together, what were some of yep. the challenges there? Oh, look, I think just um, working within the confines of the brief and the space, uh, maximising uh, the workspace, uh, not cutting down on the available natural light, working within the confines of an existing building, they're, they're the typical challenges on, on any uh, construction project, um, while still kind of retaining the, um, the kind of the style and the elegance and the sophistication of the, of the fit out. Are you a difficult client? Fantastic client? Probably. Uh, <laughs> Is that to, important? Is yes, that important? You'd, you'd have to ask Hamish that. <laughs> um, uh, I'd like to think not. We, we certainly went about it in a, in a collaborative way and, and we had lots of ideas along the way and, and so did they. And, and um, what was important was the result at, mm. at the end of the day. Um, I'd like to think I'm probably not too difficult. No, but, I'm sure uh, you're great. They might have a different opinion. <laughs> but it's about having a vision and really being uh, very committed to what it is that you know you need in, in an office yes. space. And sometimes yep. a client working with the designer can, you know, the designer can say, we, look, I think this is better. But to really have an understanding of design in the first place, how does that help? Yeah, well, we, we had very, I guess, precise ideas about how we wanted the space to be and, um, and how we worked. Uh, and the space had to kind of meet those criteria. Um, you know, we wanted a lot of timber in the space, we wanted a lot of plants, um, you know, we wanted to, to be surrounded by that kind of feeling of, of, of light and warmth and, and ambience. Um, and for it to be, you know, quite honestly, an, an inspiring space to come to work every day. Yeah. When you walk in, for those employees, when they first walked in, give me a sense of the description or the, the, give me a sense of the experience in that, in that first moment. Sure, sure. So, look, uh, there's, there's quite a lot of wows as people first come into the space, um, especially <laughs> when, when people are there for the first time. Um, it kind of opens up, you know, a, a hair view, which is a really nice experience. Um, we actually get quite a few people that kind of stop on the street and come up and, and, and literally peer through the windows at us while we're working there, which is... They think which, it's a cafe, maybe. Uh, yeah. Or some kind <laughs> of art exhibition, I don't know. But um, we get a, quite a few fans that uh, come by and, and stop and, and peer at us through the windows, which is um, both, uh, I, I guess, encouraging and a little bit awkward. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> what about for work, output? How has it transformed how your business is, is it, going forward? It's definitely facilitated our, our productivity, I think. It's just enabled us to work in, in better ways together. The guys will shift around according to the project that they're on, so they'll tend to kind of form little clusters and when they're working together on something specific. Uh, the guys can retreat to kind of a lounge or a breakout area if they want a little bit more focus. They want to get off the floor. Uh, as is common in a lot of digital agencies and, and agencies in general, um, the open plan workspace can be a, a busy one. So it's also important to sometimes kind of retreat and get a little bit of quiet space away from the floor. Mm. And Friday night drinks? 
Well, we've got our own kind of kitchen bar set up there, so <laughs> Friday night drinks is a regular uh, occurrence. Um, we've actually found it's, it's kind of so cosy uh, at the studio that sometimes we don't end up kind of going out to, to the bar, <laughs> so... Um, we've got to kind of, you know, drag people out. So that's both a good and a bad thing, I suppose. So it's not a six pack, it's a seven pack. Evolution seven. That's yeah, right. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. No problem. Thank you, Fenella.